Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, September 16th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here again the uptrending market that has been steadily in play. We mentioned in the previous pre market video that we were looking for a strong low. We needed some sort of very strong low to develop here that would suggest that we were about to reverse and turn back around and we weren't really seeing a strong low until late late later in the day where this thing finally rallied uh, not quite a lower low but a good rejection of the previous two-day low and a rally back toward the highs this is really really strong again it's a rejection of the previous month's midpoint as well and any pullback this morning is an opportunity for strength later on in the day so it's a buy the dip type of morning We've ever already seen price pull back, not quite as low as the uh, the midpoint of the previous session, but pulled back into um, the 44.50 zone, and again a bullish outside bar developing right now in the 60-minute time frame, with a shot to uh, signal more strength ahead. Really, it's 44.80, which is the key level. That is three-day highs. And if price can push to those three-day highs, it opens up a stop run day type of scenario to the upside uh, where, where we can push quite a bit higher. So again, 44.80 is the key level. If there's any push to 44.80 with a rejection of 4,500 or 44.80s, uh, a lower high there would be a very bearish look. But right now, everything is flowing to the upside, especially if 44.80 could be taken out. Let's take a look here at the NQ. The NQ here has pulled back in overnight trading. Again, very strong bullish day in the previous session. Nothing really to suggest strength early in the day. And then we had a rejection of two-day lows. Uh, a nice 60-minute buy signal developed at those lows. And we saw uh, price finish very strong in, into the close, basically rally the rest of the day. And you now have two-day highs right here that are very, very... Um, close to the previous uh, support level so it's basically that 1530 1535 pivot right there uh, 530 or 535 zone above that zone begins to squeeze and again this is uh, where after a pullback here recently we've seen this failed new low as price can continue to hold above the previous sessions midpoint of 411 call it 400 even then we have a shot to see a bounce ahead so right now holding inside the Pima trigger zone, holding inside the pivot range, holding above that 15.2 CLVN as well. Um, and all of this suggests strength ahead as price can continue to hold 400 here today and bounce off these uh, lows heading into the rest of the session. So we'll see how that develops. If we take a look at crude oil right now, crude oil down about a half percent. We had a tremendous day higher. In the previous session, we talked about how any pullback below 70 could provide a bounce into the next target zone above, which is between 73 and 74. And price got there right away yesterday in one big day up, uh, reaching highs above 73. Today, a bit of a pullback uh, into the previous session's midpoint. This has been a really nice breakout move here from this narrow range. And we still have some key levels above to test. So despite the pullback this morning, this could be a buy the dip or a digestive day, followed by a failed new low tomorrow and go to the upside. So still looking for price to continue higher toward uh, this zone right here between the previous quarter's close and previous quarter's high. That puts you right around 74. So we still have more upside that could be ahead for crude oil, especially as long as price remains above 70. Taking a last look here at gold, you'll see gold here with a tremendous continuation to the downside, a big downside break. Stop run day down, it has broken multiple days of sideways price action to the downside, and we are now within uh, shouting distance here of that 1760 key level. We talked about before that. The 1840 level here was the target once price was able to reclaim 1760 down here. We had the flash crash event which suggested we get back to the origination point, but 
and getting back above 1760 would suggest 1840. Hitting 1840 would bring us back to 1860, and perhaps back up we go and trade within. So we're still within the range. We're 1761s right now. Uh, on a day like today, you let it bleed out. So no fading until you see significant rejection. And sometimes it just needs to close like this lower, and the next day will become a failed new low and bounce back. But it will be significant if price cannot hold 1760 as that could open up another round of weakness back towards 1700. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.